Oh, I'm just kidding. Hello, Dr. Marcy here, and I am so excited to bring you my special guest today. Now, here's the deal. Normally, you know, we sit, we chat about behaviors, we talk about your kids, I give you tools of things that you can do different and change, and it's all about your whole family. Today, it's about you as the adult. And to be fully transparent, most likely it's about you as a mom, as a woman. So if you're a dad, it might not be your episode today, but you could listen and send it over to, to the women in your life because it's super amazing for that. All right. So sit back, listen to this amazing online program from this extraordinary woman that I am so excited to introduce to you. All right. Sorry. The suspense <laughs> this is Wendy and she created a online program called Mutu. M-U-T-U, -U, and it is all about women's health and especially after having babies, how to re-strengthen and put back together and make your body do all the things that, all the things, some of the things, most of the things that it used to do, all the things before you had babies. And for some of us who haven't had babies, it's still fabulous for us too. So hi, Wendy. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. What a lovely introduction. Thank you. Yeah. So my guess or, or where I think is probably the best place to start is what is Mutu and why do we care? What is Mutu and why do we care? So Mutu comes from, it's M-U-T-U, it comes from mummy tummy. All right. So that's, I made it up over a glass of wine with my mother. And so, because you're, and because you're British, mummy tummy as in mommy tummy. Precisely. Okay. Yes. Just, otherwise it'd be like Mutu. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so, so we started out as, well, when I first started it, I thought I was making an exercise program and I kind of did, but what it ended up being was so much more, which is, which has been amazing. So Mutu System is an online program that you can run over 12 weeks or you can take as long as you like to do it. But essentially it is a postpartum recovery program for your body, for your mojo, for your confidence, for all of it. And the important part there is postpartum, it doesn't matter how long postpartum. So if your kids are teenagers, it applies. Yeah. So this is, this is something that, um, that I created after a decade or more as a personal trainer and specializing in pregnancy and postnatal fitness, and then created this program, uh, where are we, like eight years ago, 2010, I think it first went online. Um, and it is for all women who have ever had a baby. It is also for all women who may not have had a baby because we all have hormones and we all have pelvic floors and we all have tummies. So yes, it is a women's health program. Amazing. And what type of, right? Because any woman could take it and do it and benefit, right? Yeah. Yes, they could, but it is essentially and tailored to a mom. But as I say, it doesn't matter. It, it, this is not a new mum thing. I kind of I use the word postpartum because who is who? Maybe their kids are in high school or wherever, grown up, whatever. Um, clearly, would not think of themselves as postpartum. We think of that as just right. being like the maybe the the twelve months maximum after we have our babies. We think we're postpartum and then we're done. Um, but our bodies are not necessarily done. So everything what that- What kind of things does it change in our body? How, what would I be, why would I look for your program? What's, what's going on with me that I'm like, ah, if your, this is gonna if be- your tummy, your, If your tummy doesn't look or feel the way you would like it to, if your pelvic floor doesn't work or feel the way you would like it to, then you need Mutu system. Okay. If you ever, if you do not, if you, if you don't like the way sort of between, you can't see me, but kind of, it's that middle bit. It's like pelvic floor upwards, right? Tummy, core, lower back, pelvic floor, yeah. hips, all of that. If anything there is not feeling good to you, if you don't feel good in it, you don't feel good about it. If anything there is not feeling good, you need no to. That's amazing. That's, that's just, that's fantastic, right? It kind of covers all the bits that, that unfortunately, or it's just the reality of it, that most fitness trainers or, or fitness instructors, they just don't know the intricacies of what's gone on in there and therefore how to make it better. Yeah. Right. And after having a baby and everything shifting and moving, 
there are, there are a lot of moms that I've worked with who are just like, I'm just always in pain. And I've just been told that that's what, what it's going to be. And what you're saying is that that's not what it's going to be. It's not what it has to be. And that is, exactly that. What, that is exactly what so many women are, are believing and feeling because we're told it. We're told it by whether it's our sisters and well-meaning friends or mothers. We're told it by the media. We're told it by our doctors. Um, you know, I often hear from women who will go to a doctor because they're leaking. Their pelvic floor does not do its job. And by leaking, don't just think of old ladies and incontinence. This is about, you know, do you, do you have to cross your legs when you sneeze? Do you, will you go on a trampoline? Do you get home and put the key in the door and go, got to get that out? Um, so, yeah, this is about um, any form of leaking at all or suddenly needing to go to the bathroom or not getting there at all on time. The answer for all of that. That's so exciting because those are the little things, right? For me, it's like the little behaviors that just kind of gnaw at you for me the, like what you're describing are the little behaviors that just make life a little bit more miserable they do and then right? and this is the crazy thing we we call them little behaviors but they're huge it's like if you're leaking yeah. I'm scared to um i mean i was i was somewhere recently and there was a, a, a woman there who everybody was dancing there was music on and everybody was dancing she yeah. didn't want to get up and dance she told me later the reason she didn't get up and dance she knew she'd leak Okay, so it, it's kind of, it, this is some, it affects the way we live our lives. It means that we don't play with our kids. We don't run around. We find, an, you know, ask mom's mom if they had gone and you'll get it up. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> because they know they'll leak. And so it's kind of, there are all these things that we just kind of accept as our lot because we had the audacity to give birth. And we're supposed to just kind of run with it. It's kind of, well, of course your tummy looks like that. Of course your pelvic floor doesn't quite do its job. Of course sex doesn't feel the same. It, no, you know, you, we're allowed to have all this stuff. We're allowed to have a body that works. Wait, wait, can we not gloss over that? Because I know it's not something I normally talk about, but can we talk about sex? And yes. the fact that yes. after having kids, it's a whole different thing, but the joy, the pleasure, it feeling good when that's not what's happening, Muchu is also the answer for that. Yes, and because, but also, Marcy, it's not just that there's the physical side of that, that it might feel different, um, there may even be pain or discomfort, but it's not, it's the physical, we, we, we very much deal with that, but what we also talk about is, it's more than that, it's not wanting to get undressed in the dark anymore, it's, sorry, with the light on anymore, it's not feeling good about ourselves, so that, that sexual enjoyment, that sort of, you know, ability to let go and enjoy and, and, and just be in the moment, is there is a physical element to it, but there's a massive emotional and psychological element to it too, because so many women are just not feeling good about themselves. They don't feel good about their body anymore. And maybe they never did. And maybe they don't since they had babies. It could be, you know, e either way. Right. But yeah, so it's about the psychological um, sort of how we feel about our bodies. Because if we hate something, we can't make it better. Right. If so how does doing an online exercise program help me psychologically feel better about my body there's coaching elements to it too marcy so there's kind of there's elements to it that that In the community talk chat about. talk about the community chat room yes yeah the community as well there's a, we have an amazing private community where you can ask questions and support each other and ask me and my team questions um but it's it, we kind of the reason mutu works where a lot of exercise or standard ab exercises type stuff doesn't work is because they've all jumped without making building the foundations okay and the foundations are that we have to feel good and thankful for and in love with our bodies in order to want to care for it and make it feel good so if you don't if you don't if you don't like your body you're you're not going to you're not going to worry about feeding it crap right because i hate it it's not worth it right like all that healthy food the kale smoothies, <laughs> they're, for, they're for people with beautiful bodies, with bodies that deserve taking care of. If we think that we don't deserve to be taken care of, then we're not going to look after our own body. And, and, and then you've also got this, this thing that a lot of women are doing post-baby, which is kind of, they're at war with their body. It's like, I'm a runner. Yeah, okay, so I leak, but I'm a damn runner, so I'll wear a pad and I'll run anyway. And, and it's kind of, they're mad at their body because their body didn't do what they wanted it to do or what they feel it should have been able to do. I mean, I, I've been there. I was that 
I was that personal trainer who kind of knew it all right. and thought I could do it all. And yeah, having babies, how hard can it be? You know, just got to be fit. You just got to know your stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I kind of reality check, but it's, <laughs> it's kind of, I came out of that with that feeling that I hear a lot from, from, from women that we work with of that feeling of feeling broken, feeling bitter, feeling mad in your body for not performing. This is supposed to be intuitive and instinctive, right? Why couldn't we just do it? Um, and then what follows on from that is that feeling that we need to punish our body, that we need to sort of, you know, beast it back to, to, to where we think it should be. And it's kind of so, Muti works with really those- the opposite of that. You need to love exactly. it back to where it needs to be. Exactly. And then, because you can't tune in, in order to do the exercises that we do, there's a lot of breathing work, a lot of very mindful breathing work, to quite literally rebuild pathways. Like, your head has stopped talking to the muscles because it doesn't like them. Right. You know when you go for a, uh, you go for a pap smear at the doctor and he or she is talking to you and you're like, can you not talk? Because I'm on an island right now. I'm not thinking because... I'm having a Mai Tai in the sun. Yeah. I'm like, we're not exactly. Yeah, like I'm somewhere else because right now you're doing something that doesn't feel good and I don't like and I'd rather not be here. So I'll shut down. Well, yeah. that's fine for 10 minutes in a surgery, but when you're doing it for weeks and months and years, shutting down, not talking to the rest of your body it's very hard to heal it and make it strong. And then the impact, I mean, for me, just hearing you say that, and I know we've talked about this a lot before offline, mm -hmm. uh, but just hearing you say it in that way, the impact that that then has on your intimate relationship, on your, on your friendships, on your relationship with your kids, if you're not happy in your own body, in your own skin, it's really hard to be happy for your kids, right? And mm -hmm. one of the things I talk a lot about is celebrating your kids. Yes. Right. So if you don't want to celebrate yourself, if you can't feel your own body, it's going to be really hard to celebrate somebody else. Absolutely. And that's such a big piece of it. And the message we're giving our kids, our, well, daughters, but daughters and our sons, you know, it's like if, if mom hates her body, and unfortunately a lot of women not only seem to feel that way, but they talk like that too. Yes. That's what kids are hearing, you know? So yeah, it, it's, it, we do have to start with ourselves, definitely. Right, I mean, and how lovely would it be to give this gift to yourself as, as a, a, a woman watching, but also to then gift that to your kids, of uh, teach mm -hmm. your kids to value their body, teach them that it's worth taking the time out to, to heal it, to connect to it, to feel good about it, and then be that model, right? A lot of what I talk about behaviorally is, we have to go first as the adults, of, I have to show you what being angry looks like and, and not fighting. Mm -hmm. So what would it look like to be the parent who shows your kid what it looks like to feel really good in your body? Yes. So that, you know, little kids feel that automatically, but as they grow up, they know how to keep it, mm -hmm. right? As a teenager yeah. who should be connected to their body, a lot of them aren't because it's been modeled. <gasps> so good. Yes. So yeah. good. And it's simple, right? Like I get to do it at home. When it's it super simple. So yeah, so, so what happens with Muti system, you, it, there's just one program that it's not complicated. It's like you just, you just become a member, done. And then you're in the membership site and we go through these modules. So there's 12 modules. You can do one a week if you want to, but you certainly don't do it any faster than that. And we have plenty. You. I tried to skip ahead. It wouldn't let me. <laughs> Don't, don't even try. We, we, know, we know what you do. I did. We know what you do. I, did. I didn't want to do the work. I wanted to just know what was coming. Um, you got like to yeah. you gotta <laughs> do the work for it to work. Exactly. You got to do it. So you just follow it through. So there's like these core, we have the, what we call the Mutu core phases. There's four phases of core exercise and we just walk you through it. Like literally you just close your, sit on the floor, close your eyes and start. You know, that's kind of, and listen, because I, lit, I walk you through every breath. And, and that those first stages are the foundation, the super important stages because that's where you reconnect. And then when, so when you do that and you get that, then everything afterwards, you're just building blocks, then you strengthen. So it's like, you've got to, you've got to connect and you've got to find, you've got to find it. You've got to connect with it. Your body. I mean, the bits of your body that you've cut off from, you find yeah. it, you connect with them. You, then you can start to heal them and then you can start to strengthen them. But if you just start doing crunches, you know, it's like your body's not talking to those muscles. So you're just going to kind of hurt yourself and not get what you were hoping to get. Amazing. Mm -hmm. So there's intelligence behind the workout. Definitely. 
Yeah. And, and a lot of empowerment. It's like, this is what's happened in there. This is why this doesn't work. And this is what you need to do to, to reestablish that. It, it's like, because mm-hmm. I, I, there's, there's zero jargon. It's like, this is your body. I want you to take control of it. Right. You, know, you deserve a body that works. Every woman deserves a body that works and that makes her feel good. Can so, you just say that again? Because I think that's really huge. It is. Yes. Every woman deserves a body that works and that makes her feel good. Simple as. It should be simple, right? And that should be just a fact, which unfortunately isn't. Right? Exactly. We should all know that. And unfortunately, I need to have you say it twice because yes. we don't know that. And, mm-hmm. and we should have that. And Muchu is a way to get that, which is awesome. It is. Um, and one of the other things that I loved going through it was every week there's also a, a food section every, yes. every week. Yes. So those, I mean, I, I've done a lot of work to figure out how to eat healthy. I've had a lot of my own illness in life. So I've had to okay. figure out what works for my body. But if you don't, it gives you insights into, into how to make it more holistic. So it's not just mm-hmm. this health system to deal with my, my pelvic challenges or, or my tummy. Mm-hmm. It kind of helps me as a human yeah. in my experience with it. It is because we start with the, you know, we sort of start core and pelvic floor, but it, it's a whole body program. And obviously that has to include what we put into our body as well. So there's a lot of, on the movement front, there's a lot of natural movement. I mean, one of the moves in our intensive workouts is get down on the floor, roll over and get up again. And it's kind of, you know, you don't have to be in a gym to get down on the floor, roll over and get up again. And kids love that one, by the way. They send in their videos. Um, it's about you can natural movement that works. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, kids love joining in with this. Yeah. Yeah. And so it, it's kind of, you know, get down. It, it's, it's natural movement. Again, you deserve a body that works. You, you should be able to squat down on the floor and lift something up. You should be able to get down on the floor, roll over and get up again. You know, that, that's kind of natural movement that we should be able to do. So we, we focus on that and we focus on what goes into your body too. There's, there's nothing complicated about the food as you'll have seen. It's, it's clean eating, it's sensible family, you know, it's realistic. This is the, these are moms we're talking about. They've got a lot going on. Yeah. A lot going on. So, so you yeah. have made it, and having been in the tech, yes. if you're scared of tech, know that Muchu is not scary. Like, I kept thinking mm-hmm. that I was going to have to log in every time. Like, I just hit the button, and it, like, pops. And I'm like, wait, I didn't, I didn't have to log in. There's no password that I have to remember. Like, it was so yeah. lovely. Yeah, you just do all that once, and then you're in. And, it, and, and you've got your little tracker that tells you how far through you are. I don't have to remember like, anything. Yeah, you don't have to. Every, so every time you log back on, it knows exactly where you're at and how many you've done and all that kind of thing. So, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So, um, all right. What is the one final thing that you haven't told us about Muchu yet that is the like best, most goldenest nugget? Um, and while you're thinking about that, I will just say that I part of why I really love it is that it's how I teach behavior and how I talk about families, right? It's holistic. I I don't just deal with one behavior problem. I deal with the whole kid and the whole family. It's systematic. It's everything. And it's, I have to do the work, right? Mm -hmm. Behaviorally, you have to do the work. And so you're addressing health and bodies in the same way. And I just, it makes me so happy, so happy that there's a system for my health, for my body that can make me feel as good, that makes sense behaviorally. It's awesome. Okay, the last amazing nugget that we need to know. I would say we've got your back. We get it. It's like, this is not, you need to be a hot mom. You need to have a thigh gap. You need to, that, you know, that we have got, as women, as moms, as human beings in this world, we have so many more important things to think about than whether or not there's a gap between our thighs. I mean, really? So it, it, it's kind of, you know, the, the, we've got you. We get this. You deserve to feel good. Simple as, and we help you get there. So love that. I love that because I think that the bottom line is we want to make sure that we're doing a program that someone understands us. Yes. Right? And yes. how many times have we signed up for something online that we're like, how did that relate to what? Yes. And so amazing, yes. amazing, amazing, amazing. So what I'm going to do is put the link for Muchu just right below um, so that it's super easy. You can just click on it because when I say the words, of here's the link to go to, it gets all confusing. So we're just gonna put the link below so you can mm-hmm. find it just like that. If you have questions, just let us know. Yeah, absolutely. We're Mutu System know. everywhere. Ask us on Facebook, ask us on Instagram, ask us anywhere, we, we get right back to you. So if anything you wanna know, just throw it up. 
Amazing. Wendy, thank you so much, not just for making Muchu and putting out your brilliance in the world and your passion in the world, which is amazing. Um, not just for being an incredible mom, which you also are, just FYI, guys, um, <laughs> but also for coming and, and spending your time and sharing it with me and, and being here. It is I such know. a pleasure always to talk to you, and I'm so excited to, to share Muchu with, with my community and my audience. Thank you so much, Marcy. Lots of right. Thank you. Bye, guys.